In this tutorial, I will be walking you through how to set up your online shop with a free plan with Big Cartel for artists and makers. So go to bigcartel.com, scroll down, you'll see the plan. Today we'll focus on the free plan. Up to five products listed, no credit card needed, one image per product, real-time stats, you can connect a custom domain, track shipping, um, add discount codes. So. We will start with that. If you find yourself selling and you'd like to upgrade, the upgrade um, is great because you can connect your Google Analytics, you can track your inventory and bulk edit and add up to 50 products with five images per product. So quite a nice upgrade if you find yourself ha happy with your increasing sales. So some, click sign up for free. Here you would enter the email address that you want associated with your Big Cartel account. So when you create a website, um, it automatically generates a contact page for you. And on that page, there's a form. So rather than showing your email to customers, there's a form they fill out to contact you. And you'll be notified at the email address that you register with. So email address, password, shop name. So whatever you choose for your shop name, they're going to take that shop name and use it in your Big Cartel URL. So here, the shop name URL is taken. When that happens, if they say the name's taken, you can add something to it. So the Jewelry Forest Shop, something similar like that. And then this one's available. So click Sign Up. So when you sign up, it'll take you straight to your dashboard. Dashboard shows you how many views you've had. This is your orders page. So these are angel beaded earrings. So for product name, angel beaded earrings, description. I'm just going to copy and paste to make this tutorial faster. Categories, this is where you set up your categories. So let's manage them, add category. I'm going to set my categories as jewelry type rather than color or, you know, you can add as many categories as you want. I can add pearl, I can add white, but because we only have five products, having so many categories isn't going to make sense. So I'm only going to add earrings, save. That's ticked, so that is the category it's in. So status, you can choose from active, hidden, sold out, coming soon, active, price, let's put eight pounds. You can click if it's on sale. Options, I don't have any other colors, so I'm not going to add any of that. If you want to upgrade your account to track inventory, you can um, add shipping. So let's add UK shippings, one pound. Each additional item in the order zero because the pieces are so small. I'm happy not. I'm happy to keep a flat fee of one pound. I also want to offer shipping everywhere else in the world for six pounds flat fee. U.S. tax code. Let's save. You get a URL. So it will be your shop name .com forward slash product forward slash your product URL, which is taken from your product name. So for the Google search for SEO, you really want to be clever with your keywords and the name. So more or less just stick to exactly the description of the product. So mine is like a clover shaped flower beaded earrings. That's what it is. And I don't really know what else I could put anyway. So it seems perfect. So we'll save that. Next products are necklaces. So I'm not going to duplicate either of these. I'm going to add a new product. So actually for the next one, I'm going to copy product. That way I don't have to add the shipping details. They're already going to be there. So let's find another bracelet. So copy and paste this. Bracelets, category, status, active, price. 
16. Shipping stays the same. Save. Then I will add one fifth product, copy product. So this is a choker and bracelet two in one. So beaded glass pearl choker two in one bracelet. Because it, the free plan allows only for one photo, I can't show what the bracelet looks like. Unless if I make a collage style photo, that's quite good to show more than one variation of a product since you're only allowed one image. I'll just create a collage. Because it's a two in one bracelet choker, I'm going to tick both categories, select done. So I have all five of my products. This way you can add a discount code. So I always like to have a discount code code called pickup it's for friends and family who order from me who live local so i don't need to pay postage to ship it to them um so when they purchase their items on my website they won't get charged for shipping they'll just use the pickup discount code. this is where you set the rules so this is the code you create this is the description when a customer orders anything, give them free shipping on their entire order, starting now, expiring never. I'm happy with that. Bring five and description will be five pounds or five dollars off of a 25 pound purchase. When customers order, now, when customers spend at least £25, give them a flat rate discount of £5 on their entire order, starting now, expiring on, so end of spring would be, so April, May, June, end of June, so let's say expiring on June 23rd. Save. around March 23rd when spring starts okay there's one and I will just show you one more style of discount code that I quite like chokers 20 20% 20 off all chokers category choker starting now expiring Watch the create discount. So that's created. So this was just to show you the different styles of discounts that you can have. Okay, so this is a long big cartel URL. This is the custom domain, which I will be adding. This is if I want to upgrade to Google Analytics, I need to change actually her country, city. I will add her address in later. Okay, so let me scroll down a bit. Address I'll add later. I will connect her PayPal or Stripe account later. Her billing is the free plan. Shipping profiles, preferences, require a customer number at checkout. I quite like that in case there's a problem. Email me when I receive a new order. Email my customers when they place an order. Security, this is where you change password, phone number, active devices, apps. Click on the first icon and select our theme. So this is the theme. It's This is my favorite theme because it has a slideshow at the top, this rectangle, above the product. So I always quite like sticking to this theme. So this shows a featured category, which is quite nice. So there's another theme. Let's go down. So this theme has a sideshow at the top as well. 
To see the slideshow, you have to add the images and I'll show you where to do that. So we'll stick with Luna. We will save that. If I click on this cross with the arrows on it, I can change the orders. Count, customize design. We've chosen our theme. So for the header image, you can add your logo, any image you like. Her image is quite boxy and it has a gradient background, so I don't think it's going to look nice or blend well. So I'm just going to keep text, name of her shop. Uh, you can have the image repeating. You can add a slideshow. So it looks like you can add about five, five images. They suggest 900 by 500. So here's one to show you what it looks like. So it'll show up up here above the products. I'll add one more to show you the arrows. So because there's more than one image, you'll see arrows here or dots down here for navigation. I'm going to delete those. Sideshow is quite nice if you have an announcement or you want to offer a discount code or put something coming soon or you want to have a nice image of maybe a particular category showcasing the products. So background, I'm going to keep it simple. White background, primary. Secondary backgrounds, very light gray. Primary text, black. Secondary text, dark gray. You have your link options, text options, button options. So all of these colors you can set. So I have Valentine's Day designs coming soon. You can have the details on rollover or you can have them under image. You can crop to square, fit to square currency sign you have all of these other options so share button tweet button pin it button so on each product page you can share it tweet it pin it and then down here you have your social icons so if you want to add one or more you can and when you do the icons will appear in your footer or depending what theme you're using So I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it clear because my colors are really washed out but for secondary background it's set to light gray. I just want to show you that if I wanted to choose any other color this is what it would look like. I'm going to save this. Okay, so here the third icon is pages. So these four pages came with the website are all set up, so we can't change them. We don't have to add them. They're already here. So contact page is a form. So your email is nowhere to be seen on your website. If you'd like to add it, you can set up a page, add it somewhere in the page. When one fills out the form and clicks send message, it'll go to your email that you registered with Big Cartel. This is the cart. Products. With the categories at the top. You may want a shipping page. Add your details here. Done. Add another, you may want return policy, add details here, bold, italic, 
ordered this, non-ordered this. So you have your numbers, bullet points. You can create links. Done. And you may want an about page. Since you are an artist or maker, that could be quite a nice page to have. And um, you can change the order. So I think having about first is nice. And then all of these other ones last. So now if we go down, we see home products about, and then we get to all the other not very fun pages. Okay, so fourth icon is for coding. If you don't know coding, I would not touch because if you mess something up, you're not going to be happy. So all of this code came with the website. If you know CSS, you can add some here. To use HTML, that's an upgrade feature. And yeah, I think that's about it. Now, if you want to quickly get to one of your pages down here, you can. So if you want to get to your contact page quick, you can, rather than clicking on them here. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Do let me know if you have any questions or suggestions.